Hello everyone, I'm going to read you a story today, one of my favourites, all about a mouse and a wall. And it's called Tilly and the Wall by Leo Leonini. The wall had been there ever since the mice could remember. They never paid attention to it. They never asked themselves what was on the other side, nor for that matter, if there were any another side at all. They were went about their business as if the wall didn't exist. The mice loved to talk. They chatted endlessly about this and that, but no one ever mentioned the wall. Only Tilly, the youngest, would stare at it, wandering about the other side. At night, while the others were sleeping, she would lie in her bed of straw, wide awake, Imagining beyond the wall, a beautiful, fantastic world inhabited by strange animals and plants. We must see the other side, she told her friends. Let us try to climb it. They tried, but as they climbed, the wall seemed higher and higher. With a long rusty nail they tried to make a hole to peep through. It's only a question of patience, said Tilly, but after working an entire morning they gave up, exhausted, without having made even a dent in the hard stone. The war must end somewhere, Tilly said. They walked and walked for many hours. The wall apparently had no end. But one day, not far from the wall, Tilly saw a worm digging itself into the black earth. How could she not have thought of that before? Why hadn't anyone thought of that before? Full of excitement, Tilly began to dig. She dug and she dug. Until suddenly, almost blinded by the bright sunlight, she was on the other side of the wall. She couldn't believe her eyes. Before her were mice, ordinary mice. The mice gave Tilly a great welcome party. They took her to their celebration pebble. Had she seen that somewhere before? They made speeches in her honour and they waved flags. And then they decided to go through Tilly's tunnel to see for themselves what the other side was like. So one by one, they followed Tilly. And when the mice on Tilly's side of the wall saw that Tilly, what Tilly had discovered, there was another party. The mice threw confetti. Everyone shouted, Tilly, Tilly, Tilly. And they carried Tilly high in the air in triumph. Since that day, the mice go freely from one side of the wall to the other. And they always remember that it was Tilly who first showed them the way. Yeah.